Would you like some ideas of how to make this room even better? Well, stay tuned. Hi everyone, welcome back, and I'm so glad you're here to hang out and talk about neat interior design topics. In this video, I'm going to be reviewing a room and looking to see what it is that's working really well and then offer some suggestions on how to make it look even better. And the cool thing about these videos is that it's an opportunity for you to review the room too and share your suggestions in the comments. So if that sounds kind of fun to you, please stick around. And I want to thank you for watching and just enjoying my videos. I really appreciate it. So let's get started. So I think this room has a lot of nice things going for it. So first thing that I noticed right away, it's light and bright and it has a nice look and feel to it. Like I'd want to go in that room and hang out there and have meals with my family. And I like how, you know, it's in an urban setting. They, you know, they left the windows open so you can see the cool buildings across the street. And it has this nice eclectic look to it. So there's a little bit of modern styling going on as well as kind of rustic style. So there's this really nice kind of mix of things going on and it's very inviting and you know a really nice room where you'd want to hang out. So a couple of things came to my mind when I wanted to offer some ideas of how to make it look even better. And one thing I wanted to bring in more to that room was more contrast and variety. And kind of, you know, play off that style of, you know, eclectic style of where it's kind of a mix of modern and uh, rustic and traditional, and you could even call it maybe transitional. And so I wanted to kind of play off that a little bit as, you know, the style for the room, but I wanted to bring in, you know, more color and pattern and different textures and right, bring in more contrast and variety to make it look a little bit more interesting. So what I decided on is I saw this beautiful pattern that I thought would be neat to use as a wallpaper in the room. So that's kind of my uh, central uh, inspiration for the room. So I took um, the color from that kind of dark taupey color and thought it would be nice to add in maybe a darker, a little deeper tone in the wall color. And the reason why I decided to do that is to bring in a little bit more contrast. I think one thing that's kind of hard sometimes is working with all white. So, you know, in the kitchen area, the cabinets are white and the background is white. You know, the wall color is white. I'm not sure what color the counter is. It may be white as well. But what's hard sometimes is matching all those whites together. So I thought, you know, bringing in a little bit of a deeper tone might be nice to provide some contrast. So I think having a deeper tone around that whole kitchen cabinet area, but you know, throughout the whole room might add some nice contrast and kind of just to have things pop out a little bit better. And I would leave the ceiling color white. And you know, the ceiling is one of the best places to reflect light. So when you have light bouncing off the ceiling, off of a light color, then it's gonna light up the room even more. And the cool thing about this room um, that I mentioned before, it's already light and bright. So I think it can take, you know, a deeper tone and um, that'll work and still, you know, keep it light and bright and interesting. And then I wanted to create a focal point in this room. There's the nice kitchen area, then um, you notice the dining room table. And I wanted to bring in a focal point in the dining area and have that be the focal point of the room. So, right, I found this beautiful wallpaper and I'd like to put that on that whole right side of that wall. And I don't know if you can see it, but there's a little bit of a, on the right side, there is a little bit of a wall that kind of sticks out. So, you know, I would suggest you know, putting that wallpaper all along that window wall. And then all, you know, already that'll, you know, draw our attention to that area. And then what I decided to do is 
to change out the dining room table. I think that dining room table is interesting and great, but I'm not quite sure if it's the right size and possibly even the right shape for that area. Plus at the same time, I felt like it kind of um, blended in with the floor a little bit too much. So what I think would be kind of cool is to have a round dining room table in there and maybe just, you know, it's not a super huge kitchen, but something, you know, seat for people. And, you know, I would think about, it could be white, but I also like the idea of, you know, bringing in some darker tones, maybe using, you know, a darker black metal chair and it could be wood, but maybe just a different tone of wood than say the flooring, just so there's a little bit of contrast there. And then I think it'd be kind of fun to, I would take out the existing light fixtures and I would probably just put one hanging light pendant. And I thought it'd be fun to use kind of a basket weave light fixture. And the reason why is that I wanted to make sure that the light fixture itself is not blocking the view outside. And so it lets in light and it's also just a little bit more um, filtered. So um, you can still maybe kind of see outside a little bit through the light fixture, but also that it you know, lets in light as well at the same time. And the other thing I noticed about the existing light fixtures is they're using those bare bulbs. And <laughs> I personally do not like those because <laughs> it's just very glaring when you, um, you know, look at them. That's the last thing you wanna do. You don't wanna like, you know, be blinded by these light bulbs uh, because they're too glaring. So I would make sure that whatever light bulbs you're using in the light fixture, that it's a frosted glass or that there's a cover on it just to make sure that you know, there's not a lot of glare happening there. And then the other thing I thought about is um, I wanted to bring in some more interesting things into the room. And so say in the backsplash, um, I, it's hard to tell exactly what's happening back there, but I think I would bring in some maybe larger size tiles, porcelain tiles, um, and it could be kind of in a taupey color, or maybe there's a little bit of a color in there, a little bit of a green color in there. Something that's not gonna um, compete with the wallpaper, but something that will relate to the wallpaper and the rest of the paint colors in the room. And then the other area that I thought about is the left side and above that counter area. And I'm kind of guessing that there is maybe a washing machine or, or something like that underneath there. But above there on the wall, I thought it'd be kind of fun to bring in some wall planters, you know, with plants in them. Wouldn't that be kind of cool? Um, and you could have herbs in there if you want to, you know, use them for cooking. And um, I think that'd be kind of cool over there. And then also I wanted to bring some artwork into the room and I really like this painting. It um, brings in another color and also it's a larger scale than the wallpaper. So just having a mix of patterns, but like in different scales. And then I think it'd be nice to have similar window coverings that they have. I think right now they have some roller shades and it's probably very minimal. And maybe it just, um, they may even be um, translucent. You know, maybe they're just filtering in light. Well, I thought it'd be nice to kind of repeat um, the light fixture texture and having kind of a woven material on the uh, windows to, you know, just to kind of filter in some light, but also bring a little bit of warmth into the room. And then I think just to create, you know, even a more overall um, look to the room, you know, bringing in some other plants and other artwork and even using um, some of the existing accessories, I think there would be a nice uh, contrast if we use some black metal. So if we have black metal chairs, you know, using some of the existing accessories that they have or, you know, repeating that in other areas of the room. And then if they needed to, they could bring in some 
other deeper colors or even some patterns into say seat cushions or you know an area rug that would be you know in front of the cooktop so overall just adding a little bit more contrast and variety into this room i think makes it look a little bit more interesting so that's just my um idea of how you know i would you know maybe change up this room a little bit and there's so many different directions we can take with design. And I would love to hear your ideas now. Um, it's your turn to you know, take a moment to review the room and share what you would do to make it look even better. Share your insights and suggestions in the comments. I'd love to read them and you know, have a discussion about that. So thanks again for watching and I hope you're doing well. And if you like this video, please press the like button. And I look forward to seeing you next time. Take care.